After years of feeling like my lack of weight loss was down to genetics and not being able to move five pounds, I finally found the workouts that helped me go from this to this. Hello daily student family, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing good and if you're new here, hello, my name's Kimberly and I hope you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on so you get notified every single time that I upload and come and follow my inspirational fitness page on Instagram as well as my podcast too. As you guys can tell by the title of today's video, I'm gonna be telling you how I lost 30 pounds in one month. Now you guys know that, again, it's such always such a journey trying to find your place in losing weight and gaining five pounds, losing 10 pounds, Pounds, gaining 15 pounds, losing 15 pounds. I had an up and down journey of not being able to find the right workouts, the right food, the right nutrition. I love to tell you guys how I did that and finally found the best workouts and the best steps that really, really worked for me. Especially when I was thinking, oh, it's something genetic. There's just never going to be a chance where I'll ever lose weight. Just not going to work. Nothing is working. And I felt so hopeless, so helpless. And I finally found the workouts and the steps that really, really helped me. So I'm so excited to show you the workouts first and foremost. You guys know I have searched high and low, tried every single workout under the sun to try and find ones that would really, really work for me. Now that I've finally found that, I'm able to share with you guys my holy grail and the ones that absolutely changed my entire journey forever. You know, you guys know I lost nine pounds in the first week and to go from not even being able to shift five pounds in a month, that was amazing. So I'm so excited to share that with you guys. First of all, you guys know I always love to talk about the food and nutrition first just to give you a few little tips before I go into the main part of the video. One of the things I found the hardest was getting past those three days because I feel like I'd have an influx of motivation for three days, so motivated, feeling on top of the world, this is what I want to do, why did I not start sooner? You always get that feeling of why did I not start sooner because you're so motivated in those first three days and after those first three days my motivation would run so dry, I'd be like I don't want to do this anymore, it's too much, it's too difficult, all my hunger cravings would swoosh in and this is why I emphasize how to really reduce that feeling coming back and how to continue motivation past day three because when you get to about day six or seven you honestly your body has adjusted so much you actually look for opportunities to exercise more like your hunger for wanting to exercise more doing more of the right workouts just continues and grows and grows and grows and it really really does come down to getting past that day three and how I did that was making sure in the first three days my first meal of the day is protein that sets me up so well for the rest of the day because protein reduces hunger protein burns one of the fastest out of all the food groups it's more it gives you better satiety so it keeps you hunger a fuller for longer that's exactly what you want to do if you start too early with these cheat days and cheat meals keeps your hunger levels too high and when I have if I'm on day two I think oh but this chocolate is 200 calories within my within my calorie intake I still will feel hungry by day three because I'm still spiking that hunger and that sugar levels constantly and what I needed to do is keep that regulated as much as possible for the first three days in order to allow my body to not then, you know, get to a point where it's like, I need this, I need this, because it's spiking constantly. If you keep it regulated, you're going to be less hungry. Those cravings are less likely to come back, and that's what really changed it for me. Protein first meal of the day. Protein, 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 like increase protein heavily. I saw the differences massively. Um, not only that, but fibre as well. Fibre is honestly the key to success. It kept me full so, so much. This was going from eating such big portions, such big amounts, to not even feeling hungry anymore. And protein is just that thing that really allows that. So guys, I'm now gonna go into the workouts. Now, you guys always know that my stomach area, my thigh area was my main goal for me. I wanted to wear shorts. Thigh rub is so painful for anyone who's ever experienced that. And I wanted to be the, the girl that I wanted to be who was wearing shorts and feeling confident, wearing whatever I wanted, wearing, you know, dressing smart, dressing lovely, and this workout, amazing things for my thighs. My thighs went down so quickly to the point where people were saying, how have your thighs gone down so much? It burns like crazy. So activating all the right movements, activating all the right muscles. And it's so important that when I'm doing a workout, I'm doing one that's really useful and that actually works because I could do an hour of the wrong workout. It's just not gonna be effective, not gonna be working and not going to be doing what it needs to be doing. And this workout honestly burns like crazy. I felt the burn every single place. And and honestly my thighs went down so quickly because they went from doing nothing to suddenly now being like 
wow, something's burning, something's working, everything was going down, the weight on the scales was going down, my thighs were burning, my legs were burning, and it's so easy to do as well. It's such a short workout, and later on you can add resistance to increase it, to, you know, give it that bit of a boost, which is what I did. But it really, really pushed me, really, really pushed my thighs, really, really pushed my legs, in order to be in the position where they were constantly losing, constantly going down, and that was the place I really wanted to be in. I like to see my motivation actually go towards something and this is exactly what really helped me push my weight down push my thighs down push my weight loss down as well the next workout is this one you guys know i love a stomach slimming journey i've documented my stomach slimming journey but my best and all-time all favorite workout is this one i really want to feel the burn when i'm doing the workout i don't have to be dripping with sweat every single time but unfortunately this workout makes me drip and sweat every single time it just burns that much and I love to see the definition come through so quickly, which is something that because I started off at a higher weight, when you're actually toning, when you're actually working and activating the right muscles, I will still allow able to see the definition come through so quickly week after week after week and it allowed me to see results that were unlike anything I'd ever seen before and it's because this workout burns so much it activates all the right places for me it absolutely burns the sequence of movements like this one exactly what catapults me closer to my goal closer within my journey allowing my weight to drop off and that's exactly what I needed as I was going through this workout and going through these movements to find one that would really push my whole body to burn 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 as much as as possible to the point where me building the right muscles and activating the right areas would allow me to see weight loss even overnight because the right muscles are activated and they're working even in your sleep and optimizing all calorie burning all fat burning to get me to exactly where I wanted to be the next workout is a full body workout now I emphasize how I quickly realized switching different body areas that I was working on each day really allowed my body to have that consistent burn because sometimes an area of your body can get too used to the same workout it doesn't burn as much um to just to optimize that slightly it is rotating in different areas that I worked on and I wanted to really push the full body because not only am I toning and going down all over the body but it's really emphasizing that um, area where I'm just mixing it up and that's what allowed me to see you know a drop of nine pounds in the first week and that consistent drop throughout my journey and this workout burns like crazy if you're not ready for a burn you don't don't do this workout. I was dripping in sweat. I was exhausted. I was tired, but it was so motivating because the weight does just go down. And that's exactly what I needed to be able to feel so confident that my journey was really, really working for me. And again, like I say, because it's a full body workout, movements like this burn like crazy. And it gives me that full body transformation that I really, really wanted and needed. And it allowed my body to go down all throughout and catapult me so much closer to my goal. And that's exactly what I wanted to see in a workout that I'd been looking for for so long this one burns so so much now guys you know i always emphasize that walking was also the key to success for me like although you can just do walking on its own without any other workouts i think adding walking with these workouts is what really pushed my weight loss so so quickly more than it ever would have been before because muscle tissue burns fat and if you're creating muscle tissue by doing these workouts or losing weight even in your sleep it just works faster works harder for you and it does a little bit more than just doing cardio alone but i do love a bit of a cardio story and I really did incorporate walking every single day even doing half an hour a day doing 20 minutes a day it makes so much of a difference uh, because you're getting your body working you're adding extra burned calories any way you can add extra burned calories I put my podcast on and I walk it's so so easy if you have a park area if you have you end up loving it because what I also notice is that when I'm walking I'm not sweating I could be in my fancy clothes normal clothes you know dress up clothes any clothes and I don't sweat but I'm still burning so much calories and doing so much for my body and my journey it makes just all the world of difference and I always emphasize for anyone starting a journey even if you're a bit like I don't want to do sweaty difficult workouts even though that's going to give you the best results you can really push yourself and just start off with the walking side of things and that's going to give you such a big transformation and I honestly put everything on it that walking does pay off it really really does pay off so if anything get out and walk and that's the best advice I could ever um, give myself in a journey give uh, give my self looking back that walking is so 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 good and it's really really good to use that 
and utilize that any opportunity you can and you fall in love with walking so much i think it's easier to fall in love with walking because of how easy it is and then you'll see the results you fall in love with it you go 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 you don't want to stop now guys i hope you have enjoyed this video if you want to see videos like this or even a workout film showing you taking through my typical day of working out and doing the best workouts my full food routine during that give this video a massive thumbs up now don't forget to come over and follow my inspirational fitness page as well as my podcast page as well i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys very very soon bye guys